Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to calculate loan amortization table with extra payment in Excel. This tracker is absolutely free. If you are interested, you can download from the link provided in the description below. Here is an example where the loan amount is 2 lakh or 200,000 and annual interest rate is 10% and number of years is 2. Loan start date is this and then you have the monthly interest rate to calculate monthly interest rate I take the annual interest rate divided by 12 similarly to calculate number of month number of year multiplied by 12 you get number of months so you have the period so since you have 24 months in this table you have the details until uh, 24 months and then you have a EMI each month equated monthly installment what is the amount each month to be paid and then you have the interest when you pay the EMI what is the interest amount in that EMI and then you have the principal amount what is uh, directed as principal amount and then by end of 24 months you have the balance of zero so this tracker is uh, flexible uh, you can make the changes as per your requirement for example the loan amount what we have is 2 lakh or 200,000 I make it as uh, 20 lakhs or 2 million and then number of years let me extend so if you notice here uh, until row number 40 it is updated as 24 after 20, uh, 41 it is blank but the moment I update as uh, 30 years then number of months become 360 and you have the details until 360 months and end of the month uh, end of after 360 period you have the balance as zero so let me make it as uh, for simple calculation let me make it as two let me go back on the top now you also have the extra payment tab so for example like after six months uh, you have some amount where you want to pay it sorry let me make it as two, uh, 200,000 here okay so after six months you have some amount which you want to pay in uh, advance aggressive to a principal for example if you're paying like a uh, 50,000 now it is automatically uh, reduced uh, from your uh, balance so previously you had balance of uh, 1 lakh 61,000 and now as soon as you paid 50,000 you have the balance of 100 and, uh, 103 670 and uh, it is not now uh, earlier it was until 24 months but now uh, since you paid 50,000 in advance so after 17 month you can see the negative balance it means after until 17 month you'll be paying the EMI and then after 18 months you are uh, our end of 17 month your uh, loan amount is uh, cleared now let's see how this table is created to start with for C16 I have taken the period as 0 and then the balance I have linked with uh, the loan amount press enter and now you have the period for this I just use simple if function if this the starting period plus 1 is less than or equal to the number of months what we have here I also press F4 to lock this cell is if this is the case then the result should be this plus one if not I should have the blank close bracket press center to further enhance this formula I use simple if error because we are using this now for two years and in case if you are using 30 years if you don't use this error function after 24 months you will get an error message so because of that I use simple if error if there is an error then I want the result as blank close bracket press center and now let me extend this formula until row number 376 because we want result for number of years even if you take it as 30 we want result until here then we have the EMI for this EMI we use PMT function PMT and then the first argument is rate for that we already have rate here I press a 4 and then the next argument is number of period so we have year so let me press a 4 comma and then we have the present value the present value is 2 lakhs then future value is 0 and then you take it 0 close bracket press enter you get the EMI amount since we get this in uh, negative to make it positive I use ABS function and uh, close bracket you get the positive 
and if my period is uh, getting close after 24 months in this case if that is the case I want result after 24 months as blank so for example if I grow uh, you can see here after 24 months it is blank because uh, I use function further if if this is blank then the result should be blank if not I should have this result so close bracket press enter let me exchange this formula press enter sorry I think I missed to lock somewhere you have two I think probably e7 is something which I should lock it f4 press enter now let me exchange this formula so you have the result and then interest is very simple uh, what we can do is uh, whatever the balance we have uh, previously for example now you have balance of this for this I just take is equal to balance multiplied by my interest amount press enter you get the interest amount again to further enhance this if this is equal to blank then my result should be blank if not I should have this result close bracket press enter and let's section this formula sorry again I missed to lock this cells let me lock this this uh, interest rate f8 and then you have the principal amount uh, principal amount is very simple so what we do is uh, EMI minus interest will be your principal again to further enhance I use uh, if this is blank then I want to result blank if not I want this result close bracket now press enter let's exchange this formula and uh, here uh, the balance amount uh, simple again what we have done is uh, we have taken a h16 h16 is uh, the previous balance what we had then we have taken uh, the EMI what we paid uh, or I can show it here uh, h16 is uh, my previous balance you can see here minus and then I have taken f17 that is my principal amount plus in case if I'm paying any extra payment I have added here so so since you don't have any extra payment here so it's not reflecting otherwise it would have been reduced so let's show let me show you that example for example after six months if you pay around 50,000 you can see there is a reduction of uh, from 1,61,000 there is a reduction of 50,000 and the result is 1,3,000 and now after applied all the formula I use uh, a simple subtotal function to uh, sum up all this similarly even for interest even for principal and for the extra payment I hope this video is useful and if you like this video please click on like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you